In this video, I want to show you how to process your protein gel for your lab report, that is, prepare your protein gel for your lab report. So the first thing you need to do is find your protein gel. So in the lab Blackboard site, you go to the data section, and at the top you'll see this protein ladder. We'll come back to that. We don't need this right now. And here's the protein gel. So you click on the protein gel and here it is. So I've photographed the protein gel and I've gone ahead and typed in the lane numbers across the top. You need to move this into some sort of pro word processing document and I just prefer to use PowerPoint so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to copy this image and I've got a blank PowerPoint document here and I've pasted it in. And of course it's immense so we'll scroll down like this and we'll make this a little bit smaller so we can deal with it. Here we go, maybe not that small. Right. And then we want to kind of tidy up the edges a bit. So let's let me see, I don't know if you can see this. So you can see everything I'm doing here. I'll make my screen smaller. So we want to format and crop, right? and now in the crop tool we can push down here and we can clean up this bottom edge so it looks a little bit nicer. And we can just maybe just a little bit on the side, but we don't want to cut off the lane. If I click outside, now it looks pretty nice. So let's make this bigger again so we can see what we're doing. The important thing that you need to do in this word processing document is to insert a text box that I identifies the molecular weight of all these markers in this marker lane. The marker lane is just a set of, sort of arbitrary proteins that just happen to be a convenient size. And so this serves sort of as a molecular ruler. So what we're going to do is we need to know those sizes. So we're going to go back into PowerPoint, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, back into Blackboard, and here are the molecular weights. So I can either go back and forth or I can jot them down, right, all these numbers. Now notice of these numbers, the spacing between these bands in this gel and in the gel we ran is a little bit different because it's a different gel. There's a different percentage of polyacrylamide in this gel compared to the gel we ran. Another thing you'll notice is that two of the bands are really darker than the other. So there's more, as we discussed in lab, this means there's more copies of protein here. So the 80 kilodalton band and the 25 kilodalton band. And so the same was true on our gel because it's the same markers. And so this can sort of be a landmark for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to, go back to PowerPoint. We're going to insert a text box. I'm just going to make this little text box and you type in, we want the units up at the top just like they had, so kilodaltons, right? And this text is huge. This text is way too big for us. So what we're going to need to do is to bring that font size way, way down because this is going to enable us to manipulate it. So once that's done, I'm going to click here. Right. Now we're just going to start typing in the sizes of the bands and I just happen to know what they are because I've had to make this video three times in order to get it right. <laughs> uh, 60, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, and 10. Now, so I've got all the bands sizes typed in, but of course what we need them to do is to match up to the bands that are here. So first of all we're going to just sort of pull this text box so it's kind of, it's close, right? Oops, uh, that's close. Oh, that's pretty good. We're going to just kind of move it over here. Another thing we can do is to, I'm going to move this a little bit farther over here, is to change the text. I just like the text changed to white. I just think it looks a little better. Right. If I want to Actually, if I could use a little bit more gray, so I'm going to sort of uncrop what I did just to give myself a little more gray space. All right, that's good. All right, so now I can move this back over here. See? And then I'm just going to use the return key, right? I 
using my mouse, I made sure that 230 is right next to this top band. I know it's a little, this band just happens to be a little bit faint, but see, this 230 is about right next to there. And then I'm going to make put my cursor here next to the 150. I'm going to try to put my cursor next to the 150. And I'm going to hit return once, and that puts the 150 next to this band. And I'm going to do that again next to the 100. And now the 100 and the 80K band, remember the 80K band, it's a little bit darker than the others. The 80K band is lined up pretty nicely. And one more time, and the 60 and the 50 kind of end up well. And we're going to move down the 40, and oh, the 40 is a little low, but that's all right. And the 30 and the 25 is good. And at 20, 15, and 10. Now they're all lined up pretty pretty well, close enough. So now when we talk about our protein gel in the lab report and we say things like, oh, there's an abundant 10 kilodalton band that's present in all of the homogenates, the reader knows where 10 kilodalton is because you've clearly identified it on the marker lane. Okay? So if you have any other questions, you can talk to your instructor about how to do that.